Uh, this is Dr. Mahesh Kalyan Shetty, Associate Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. In this session, we will discuss regarding the static indeterminacy of frames. The learning outcome will be at the end of this session, the students will be able to calculate static indeterminacy of frames. Now let us uh, discuss in detail the process of finding the static indeterminacy of frames. So basically there are uh, two kind of indeterminacies, one is an external and another is internal. Now as far as the external indeterminacy is considered, it is uh, related to extra unknown reactions at support. So DSIE, E stands for external indeterminacy. It is nothing but it is an unknown reaction at support which is denoted by RE. So RE stands for reaction at support or external reaction minus static equilibrium equations available. So usually uh, in case of the frames we have three equations available summation of H0, summation of V0 and summation of M0. Therefore we may write an equation for uh, external indeterminacy as DSE equal to RE minus 3. Whereas internal indeterminacy on the right hand side, it is related to internal forces. It depends on number of closed loops in the structure. So closed loops uh, are indicated by C and one closed loop accounts for 3 degree of static indeterminacy. So as we know that uh, we have three forces in a member, axial force, shear force and bending moment. So one closed loop accounts for 3 DSI and it also depends upon the number of released reactions which are denoted by RR due to internal hinges if any. So due to provision of the internal hinges certain reactions are released. So this will add into indeterminacy. Right. So that is to be uh, determined and uh, the uh, number of uh, released reaction RR is given as summation of M double dash minus 1. So where M double dash is nothing but a number of members meeting at internal hinge. So such kind of uh, hinges you have to identify and you have to take a summation of all the hinges and that total will give you a released reaction. So therefore, the internal indeterminacy DSI I is 3C minus RR. So 3C means uh, it is uh, the indeterminacy due to uh, loops. So as we see here, uh, one loop corresponds to 3 unknown. Therefore, it is 3C minus the released reactions, right? So RR. So the released reactions are due to uh, the internal hinges. And then you have to take a summation of both which will give you the total degree of static indeterminacy and that is given by the formula DSI equal to RE minus 3 plus 3C minus RR. Now let us uh, look at with the help of certain example. So consider this example and let us discuss how the uh, DSI of frame is to be determined. So first of all we need to find the external reaction and uh, corresponding indeterminacy we need to find and as we discussed in the previous slide that inter external indeterminacy is given by RE minus 3. So the reactions you can see total 6 unknown reactions these are called external reactions so E stands for external reaction. So therefore very easily you can write the external indeterminacy as RE minus 3 so as RE is equal to 6 here so it becomes 3. So the in external indeterminacy is 3. Whereas internal indeterminacy is corresponding to loops and the, the released reaction due to the internal hinges if at all it is present. So here in this case now in the previous slide we have seen internal indeterminacy is given by 3C minus RR. So 3 loops are there. Therefore, sorry, one loop is there, so 3 into 1 and RR will be 0 since we do not have any internal hinge here. So therefore, internal indeterminacy will be 3 
and the total indeterminacy of the structure given will be 6. Let us discuss this problem with the same steps. First of all, we need to find the external reaction. So, the external indeterminacy can be determined as Re minus 3. So, Re is 3 here, 3 unknowns and the 3 equations available. So, it becomes a 0. And now, in internal indeterminacy is 3C minus RR. So, now we do not have any loops in this structure. Therefore, it will be 0 and there is one hinge here. So, therefore, release reaction will be present and release reaction is given by M double dash minus 1 and you have to take a summation of this for all the joints. So, we have only one joint here and M double dash is the number of members meeting at that joint. So, we have two members meeting here. Therefore, it will be 2 minus 1, 1. So, it becomes minus 1 and total DSI will be minus 1. Now, minus 1 indicates that this structure is determinate, no doubt, but the negative sign indicates that the structure is unstable. So, uh, this particular structure is unstable even if a small amount of load applied will cause the failure of this particular structure because as it is observed that since we have a hinge here, so the roller is free to move here, already we have a hinge here therefore this particular support will move and it may lead to collapse of the structure. Let us look at the another one. Now, in this case again the external reaction Re minus 3. So, we have 3 reactions. So, DSI external will be 3 minus 3 is 0 and internal if you consider now one loop is present in the structure therefore, 3 into 1. So, 1 uh, sorry 3 into 1 is 3 minus RR release reaction. So, release reaction here also will be the same because we have uh, two members meeting at this joint. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, 3 minus 1 will be 2. So, internal indeterminacy is 2 and the total indeterminacy of the structure is 2. And therefore, now in this case you observe that the structure is statically indeterminate. And of course, it is stable because we do not have any negative DSI here. So, because of the provision of the loop, the structure has become stable. Earlier, it was not stable, okay, but due to provision of an additional member here and formation of the loop, the structure has become stable. Let us proceed further. <coughs> now, consider one more example. Again, let us uh, follow the same steps. First of all, we need to find the external reactions. So, external reactions are total 9 and uh, equations available are 3. So, Re minus 3 will be 6. And as far as the internal indeterminacy is considered, we have only loops. There is no internal hinge. Therefore, there will not be any released reactions. So, 4 loops are there. So, 3 into 4 12 minus 0. So, internal indeterminacy will be 12 and the total degree of static indeterminacy of the given frame will be 18. Let us go for one more example. So, let us find the reactions first. These are the reactions and based on that we can find the external indeterminacy Re minus 3. So, here reactions are total 10, 10 reactions minus 3 equilibrium equations. So, external indeterminacy is 7 and internal indeterminacy again it is 3 C minus R R. So, we have 3 loops present in the structure therefore, it will be 3 into 3 minus R R is the released reaction that will be M double dash minus 1. So, M double dash here at the internal hinge you can see 4 members are meeting. At the internal hinge 4 members are meeting therefore, 4 minus 1 it will be 3. So, 9 minus 3 it will be 6. So, internal will be 6. Therefore, the total degree of static indeterminacy will be 7 plus 6, it will be 13. Go for one more example. So, let us again find the external reactions first and based on that we can find out the external indeterminacy Re minus 3. So, 13 reactions are there total external reactions. 
minus 3 it will be 10 and as far as the internal indeterminacy is considered now we have to use 3c minus rr equation. So 9 loops are there present in this structure. So 9 into 3 27 minus now we have two hinges therefore you have to operate this m double dash minus 1 for both the hinges. So for the hinge near fifth loop it will be four members meeting so 4 minus 1 it will be 3 and again near 8 also there will be 4 minus 3 uh, 4 minus 1 it will be 3 so 3 plus 3 total 6 will be the value of this uh, square bracket therefore it is 27 minus 6 and internal indeterminacy becomes 21 so the total indeterminacy now becomes that addition 10 plus 21 is 31 so this is how <coughs> we can determine the degree of static independency of the frames by calculating external indeterminacy and internal indeterminacy. Go for one more example. So let us consider one fixed uh, support here at the bottom and uh, we have the frame structure as shown here. So the external indeterminacy of course is RE minus 3. So we have a total 6 unknown reactions and 3 unknowns, uh, 3 equations available. So external indeterminacy will be 3 and internal indeterminacy is again 3C minus RR. Now RR will be 0 in this case since we do not have any hinge, internal hinge. So uh, 4 loops are there. So 4 into 3 is 12. So DSI internal will be 12 and total degree of static indeterminacy given is 15. So these are the references used for the presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much.